Hello, this is Coffee Break with Ninita, a daily guide of coping skills that gets us through by making us strong. We're still on the same subject of saying no with compassion. We see many parents saying no and then their children having a temper tantrum and then they get angry at them and scold them. Or in order to avoid the scene, they turn around and agree to what the kid is asked for. Children grow up and if as young children they understand that their no is going to receive punishment, they stop asking for things. Or the other scenario, when if they insist or throw temper tantrum, they know that they hear will turn into yes, then they use frustration as a coping mechanism and anger and confrontation and drama. You see, in both situations, the no is not used correctly. It is not denying your needs and your wants the solution. This is not helping the person in develop and grow. Nor teaching the child that if they are annoying enough, they can get their way. In both situations, the children will grow up to apply the same means, same coping skill into dealing with their lives. In both cases, the children become adults unprepared for dealing with the challenges that life brings along. And we have depression, we have suicide ideations, we have a lot of terrible things that happen unnecessarily. On the other hand, when we are prepared to say no, not all the time, occasionally, when we find it right, in a calm and collective, compassionate way, and stick to it unless the child is using, is developing coping skills that are healthy, then we see through compassion, patience, in a calm and collective way, how these situations become very helpful, empowering and enlightening the young child to use coping skills that he or she can develop and master as he or she is using them and as he or she is growing up. When we say no, the following coping skill have an opportunity to develop. First of all, they develop endurance where they learn to do without it. You see sometimes children going to the store and asking from the parents to buy a candy or to buy a toy. And you see the parent, I'm going to present three scenarios. Saying no, the child has a temper tantrum and the parent angrily says, here, take it. Or the parent saying no and the child in an angry way sort of withdraws and puts it away, and sort of you see fear. And the third scenario, the parent says no, and you see the child saying, can I just look at it? Or can I hold it for a little bit? And you see the parent saying, yeah, yeah, you can hold it for a little bit, and then you will put it back to where it belongs. And you see that the child holds it for a little bit, and then puts it back. And what we see in the example that I gave you in the third situation, that the child slowly develops coping skills of dealing with the no by using alternative ideas or suggestions that are not as satisfactory as the original, but it is a compromise. So we see that our no builds endurance, 
and builds options. Sometimes that no is empowered with not yet or not now, where the child learns to develop patience. It doesn't happen overnight. It requires for the adult to be very consistent in a calm and collective way, not in an angry way. There are these kinds and many more coping skills that a well-delivered no to a young child and using that as a part of his or her development, that no becomes a source of coping skills that he or she develops from a young age and perfect as he or she becomes an adult where disappointments don't become the end of the story, but become part of the journey, of maybe changing a little bit the journey, or even the destination, but nevertheless not experiencing frustration and having that kind of bad feeling be the end of the story every time they experience disappointment, but they are able to go through it and come out in the other side. We thank you for listening to Coffee Break with Nanita. Our goal is to help our stay whole community work through their challenges. Please join this cause by supporting us on Patreon. You can do that for the price of just one cup of coffee per month. Just click on the Patreon link in the podcast description below or simply visit us at www.patreon.com forward slash stay whole. We appreciate you and hope we can help you stay whole.